Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to create this puffy armchair we have in front of us here. So let's start off by opening 3D Studio Max. I'm using version 2022, but this tutorial can be done in earlier versions as well. Head over to the menu bar, select the Create tab, Standard Primitives, Box. Go to the top viewport and click and drag like so something similar to what I have here and then maximize the perspective viewport by clicking here. Let's start off by naming our box. I'm going to call mine um, Puffy Armchair. It's good practice to name your items or anything you create that will help you when you start trying to locate it later. Let's increase the segments to around 15. But you notice we can't see our segments right now. So that's because we haven't activated the edged faces. So hit F4 on your keyboard to do that and you'll be able to see something like this. Increase the width segments to around 15 as well. And then the height segment to 8 or you can type in. Let's go ahead and adjust the dimensions. 200 100 centimeters you don't really have to play with the dimensions if you don't want to but I think it's sometimes good practice so you can be a little bit more accurate on the models you create so that'll be 40 and that's what we have so right click on the model convert to editable poly and select the polygon option here. Let's rotate a little bit so we can see better. And start selecting the polygons on top of our box. So just hold control. So we keep adding to our selection. Like so. So select everything around the edge of our box. Like so. And now that we are done, head over to the Edit Polygons options and select the Extrude. Make sure you click on the Settings options. And this is what we have. So decrease that from 10 centimeters to around, around 5. So it looks similar to the ones below. And then click Plus to repeat the process several times, maybe around five or six times, that should be okay. And then accept that by clicking on the tick. This is what we have. So deselect the polygons by clicking anywhere on the screen. So this is what we have. Now let's try and create another box which will be underneath our chair and that will act as a collision object when we apply the cloth modifier. Go back to create standard primitives box and just follow what I'm doing on screen like so instead of dragging upwards you can drag downwards and for this box you can call it the base or anything you want maximize that viewport one more time go ahead and grab the select and move tool so now we have two options we can either click and drag and apply the cloth modifier to both objects or we can start off by grabbing our armchair going over to the modify panel and then applying the cloth modifier like so once applied just scroll down and make sure our gravity is at zero press enter and then scroll up again object properties so we have a puffy armchair selected here we're now going to add another object which is the base the box we have right here grab that and add that to the options as well so for our base that's going to be the collision object 
there's nothing to play with there that would be a cloth and for the presets let's select um i mean you can select anything here but but for this tutorial i'll grab the taffeta go down to pressure and set it to five click ok and then simulate local you see what we have here we need to change the settings let's head over and control Z object properties one more time select the puffy armchair and reduce this to maybe two simulate local and then deactivate I think that's better it's puffy but not too much okay now let's go ahead and apply the turbo smooth modifier just hit T on your keyboard or you can search for it this way I tend to just type in TU or and we have it here hit F4 to see the result that looks quite nice let's hit F4 again to try and add some detail to this go ahead and apply the edit poly modifier we have it here select the edge now try and look for the edges in the middle of our armchair like so once you've got one edge selected you can go to the loop to loop it like so whilst holding control you can do the same to the other side like so and then click loop again and that's what we have another way of doing that is hold on control double click on any of our edges to connect the selection and this is what we have so let's head over to the extrude panel and select the settings on the right side of it like so you can zoom in let's decrease uh, maybe let's increase that a little bit from here and then go minus at the top so we're going to make an inward extrusion like so I think that's all right click plus once so that we repeat the extrusion inwards and then finish the selection by clicking on the tick and this is what we have hit F4 and maybe exit the selection by clicking the create panel like so but we need to make these edges a bit smoother so let's go ahead and apply the turbo smooth modifier to our model one more time So hit T and turbo smooth, there we, there we have it. You see what we have? It's a bit smoother, but increase the iterations to maybe two or three. And that's very nice. And don't forget, you can always turn off the modifiers to see the difference or to go back and edit your model even further like so I can go back to the edge selection and maybe add another line here just double click okay select the extrude setting one more time and that will automatically apply your previously selected options so accept that and then hit F4 again uh, turn on turbo smooth and that's what we have I think that looks better so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it will be much appreciated thank you and see you on the next video